my name is Jesse Olson. I am a senior project lead on our ERP team at Journey Team. Uh, so what I've got pulled up on the screen right now is a, a setting menu inside of Business Central. Um, so you can get to this just using your magnifying glass, but ultimately we're looking for the co-pilot and AI capabilities. Uh, currently inside Business Central, they really have kind of two functions available at this point. Uh, there are production ready previews and then a generally available uh, function that is also enabled. First thing, uh, if you want to explore and, and play around with these solutions uh, or these tools, you will need to make sure that they are active and enabled. Um, and then I will walk you through some of the functionality behind what it can do with marketing text, as well as what it can do to enhance some of your bank reconciliation processes. So first place I'm going to start, I'm really going to focus on the marketing text suggestions. So I am going to go into an item card. And once I get an item card open, I am just going to select, this is a, a demo database from Microsoft, the Cronus instance. And so they have a bunch of sample data in here built for me. And so if I open an item, what I am going to get is over here in my fact box pane, there is a new field for marketing text. You have the ability to come in here. Normally this would be blank. I've been playing around with this, but if you just click on draft with Copilot, it is going to give you a pop-up window uh, so we can interact with some of these AI capabilities. So what the end goal of this really is to utilize AI functionality to build a product description that you could then take to a website or take to Shopify or any type of uh, social media type postings. And so it is going to be looking at the item itself. So we can tell the system, I want to look at certain attributes of the item. I want to focus on some of those individual attributes. And so you've got different tones that you can put into the AI tool. Do we want this to be a, a creative message or an upbeat message? You can also design the format. Is this just a punchline or is there a paragraph with it? Is it just a brief summary? And then you also have some emphasis on, is this an innovation? Do we want to focus on the reliability of the product or the sustainability of the product? So you're really just putting in some key parameters inside the system, and then you're simply going to click on regenerate. And the system is going to go through and build you a, a description of that item that you can then utilize anywhere outside of the ERP. Once it gets to this point, you can make updates and changes and formatting and all that fun stuff, but it does a really good job at getting you a, a really good starting point. So that is the first feature, that marketing text. I'm sure Microsoft is going to expand on this, uh, but a, a really cool tool if, if it applies to your use case. The other area I want to focus on is the improvements they've made to the bank account reconciliations. Uh, so what they have done is they have given you the capability uh, to reconcile your bank reconciliation with AI and Copilot. And so what we can do here, I'm actually just going to remove this match real quick. But inside the system, uh, the core Business Central product, they do have a function where you can match automatically. The only downfall I see to this is the system is really only looking at, at two metrics on this. It's looking at date and dollar. So if the date and dollar match perfectly, Core Business Central will capture those. But if you have situations where maybe you have two bank statement lines and a single bank account ledger entry or vice versa, that's where Copilot's really going to come into play. So if I come up here and I do process and I want to reconcile this with Copilot, you'll be able to see the system is going to go through and try to find some of those pairings or those matchings where it is one to many on both sides. So here you can see it found this transaction on my bank statement for $245.80. You can see it's proposing for application to multiple entries. If I click there, I can see that it found two journal entries that total the $245.80. So in this case, AI did find the right tools. It did match those together. So I can simply come in and tell the system I want to keep it. So that is going to record the ledger entry, and it is going to match those together. Uh, you also have the capabilities with the AI tool to create your journal entries from the bank statement reconciliation. 
This is going to work similarly to the out-of-the-box functionality, but it is going to use some of that AI technology to try to predetermine some of those values. So here I've got my transactions. I can choose a GL account to map these to, and then I can also have the capability to save those mappings. So the next time the system sees a certain description, it will go ahead and map it to the GL account that has been saved. So really cool features that are already helping out some of the functionalities here. I know the bank racks have been a pain point of a lot of our clients. If this situation applies to you, you might want to explore this and definitely reach out to Journey Team and myself if you do have any questions on how to use some of this AI functionality.